Today we're going to be learning about solving absolute value equations with extraneous solutions. Our objective is that we will be able to solve absolute value equations algebraically and graphically. Recall our steps for solving an absolute value equation. First we're going to isolate the absolute value. Then we're going to split the absolute value into two equations, one positive and one negative. We're going to solve each equation. When we check our solutions, we might find out that something is an extraneous solution. An extraneous solution appears to be a solution, but does not work in the original equation. So let's look at why that might happen. Solve the equation absolute value of x minus 3 equals 3x minus 5. So the absolute value is by itself on its side of the equation. So we can go ahead and split this up into our positive and negative equations. So x minus 3 equals 3x minus 5 and negative x minus 3 equals 3x minus 5. I need to get my x's on one side. And the numbers on the other. On the left, I'm going to start by, or sorry, on the right, yeah, on the second equation, I'm going to start by distributing the negative. So I get that x equals 1 and x equals 2. So let's check this using that. So I'm going to put y equals and then everything from the left side of the equation, and then y equals and everything from the right side of the equation. If you notice, and I'm going to zoom out to make it a little more obvious, the blue V and the green line only intersect in one place. And that would be at the point 2, 1. The x value of that is x equals 2 which means x equals 2 is our only solution. Why is x equals 1 not a solution? Let's look at what happened. If I plug the x value of 1 back in to 
these, this original equation. I get 1 minus 3 equals 3 times 1 minus 5. Three, 1 minus 3 is negative 2. 3 times 1 is 3. The absolute value of negative 2 is 2. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. Those are not equal, so this does not work. This is an extraneous solution. And this happens because the absolute value is there. If the absolute value hadn't been there and it had just been x minus 3 equals 3x minus 5, this answer would have worked out great. But because of our absolute value, it doesn't work when we plug it back in, even though we did all our calculations correctly. So it's an extraneous solution. And our only solution is x equals 2. Another example. This time, there's some other stuff on the left-hand side of the equation along with the absolute value. We need to get the absolute value by itself first. And add 4 to both sides. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. Now that the absolute value is isolated, I can make my two equations. So let's use Desmos to check our solution. So our left hand side was 2 times 2x. The absolute value of 2x plus 1 minus 4. And our right hand side was like they only intersect in one place again at negative 0.6 which is the same thing as negative 3 fifths so this is my only solution let's look at what happened with the negative 1 Since there's a lot going on on the left-hand side, I'm going to type that into Desmos, and then I know the right-hand side equals negative 6. So actually, I'm going to take my equation that was already there, and then where the x was, I'm going to put in the negative 1. And get rid of the x. And that tells me that it's equal to negative 2. Well, negative 2 definitely does not equal negative 6. So again, that does not work, and it's, it's an extraneous solution.
for today. See you in class.